What's going on, everybody? This is Sean of Raw Select Music. Today, I want to talk about this album right here. This is Square Pusher's Showbel Leader 1 D Demonstrator, released on Warp Records on October 18th, 2010 with a single coming out on Ed Banger Records prior to the release of this album. Now, I gotta be straight with you guys, I didn't particularly like this album back in 2010, but for the purposes of this Square Pusher review series that I've been doing, went back and listened to it recently, and today I want to share my thoughts and opinions of this album and let you know if those old thoughts and opinions that I had on this project still remain to this day. So with all that being said, now let's talk about this guy. So even the Wikipedia page for this project is pretty sad, with the only background about this album being one single solitary line. According to Tom Jenkinson, the name of this project came from a misheard line from a song that forming the band was just a logical step forward for him in his music, and it works as an extension to his previous album, Just a Souvenir, which was based on the concept of a band with an illuminated coat hanger as their backdrop. While it's debatable whether or not this album was created with other people, Square Pusher would use the name again as his live band, releasing an album called Electrac in 2017, which actually sounds pretty cool, and I should probably give it a listen at some point. Sadly, the same can't be said for this album. It's received the lowest scores of any of his full-length projects to date, sitting at an average score of 60 on Metacritic, with Q Magazine and Pop Matters being particularly harsh towards this album. But where do I stand in all of this? I still don't like this album. I, I still don't. I really don't. I, I, I tried. I, I really tried to give this album a fair shake, and the the only conclusion that I came to while listening to this album is it just doesn't work. There's nothing about this album that compels me to listen to it ever again. And now that I'm finally making a video for this album, I'm glad to say that I never have to listen to this album again. It's not that I hate it, it's just for every good idea that this album has, it's completely undermined by every terrible idea that this album has. It's still got that awful, awful fuzz bass that he used used on Just a Souvenir, which turned me off to that project. It's got flat, boring, lifeless drum machines on here that sound super robotic. And speaking of robotic, for the fact that this is being touted as a band project, this is the most lifeless, humanless, robotic project I've heard from Square Pusher to date. Everything else that this man has put out has some value to some degree. This has none of that. Even when you might think that you're coming around to certain songs on here. I really like the way that Plug Me In starts off and has this kind of cool little almost progressive rock melody to it. In comes some awful vocoded vocals, some extremely weirdly mixed drums that feel incredible incredibly dry and ugly and awful, and just some of the worst lyrics that I've heard from any artist pretty much ever. The last thing in the world I ever want to hear from Square Pusher is a thinly veiled metaphor for sex. Yeah, let that sink in. Seriously, listen to the lyrics of this song. I can't be the only one that is thinking that this is either Square Pusher's version of joking about sex or trying to be seductive. Either way, it's a bad idea on an album full of bad ideas. The fact that it stands out this much to me makes it all the much more painful. And while I could give you like a track for track breakdown of like, okay, this is kind of cool and that's kind of cool. The fact of the matter is in all the albums that Square Pusher has in his catalog and it's debatable what's an album or what's a mini album or an EP or whatever. This is the album that I don't care if I never hear again. I want to go back and listen to Feed Me Weird Things. I want to go back and listen to Hard Normal Daddy. I want to go back and listen to Ultra Visitor. I want to listen to the albums that he put out after this album, which for the longest time I didn't listen to because I didn't like this project that much, and I was so turned off at the idea that Square Pusher would continue making music in this vein, which thankfully did not, and those other albums are pretty cool and I can't wait to talk about them, so I want to get this guy out of the way. So there's literally like no reason to buy this, there's no reason to listen to it, there's no reason to stream it, unless you're extremely curious to hear what a synth pop Square Pusher album sounds like that actually sounds nothing like Square Pusher and sounds worse than pretty much every other synth pop act ever to come out, there is literally no reason to listen to this. Literally, just don't listen to it at all. Skip it. I'm never gonna listen to it again. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time talking about this album. I'm just gonna get to that tier list and, oh, look at that. It's going in the lowest tier. Look, I don't have much else to say about this. If I continue this video any longer, I'm just gonna keep talking in circles. Simply put, Square Pusher has better albums than this. If anything, listen to it just to appreciate all the better material 
material that he has out there. I will say that I don't hate it. I just don't like it. And I have zero desire to listen to it. So it's really a shame that it had killed off my interest in Square Pusher's music for such a long time. Because the projects that followed this album, actually really cool. And I can't wait to talk about those. But with all that being said, so that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks as always for watching. If you've listened to this album before, please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. If you want to hear this album for yourself, and God only knows why, you can head over to my WordPress blog, because that's where I post music links to any of the albums that I talk about on this channel. Make sure you're here for Live from the Record Room, my weekly DJ live streams where I play records like the ones that I talk about in these videos, as well as a whole host of other records that I don't get a chance to talk about on this channel. Follow me on social media. There you can find out when I'm going live, as well as a whole host of other information related to the Raw Select brand. And make sure you check out very soon, I will be uploading the new version of Raw Select Radio, which has moved into more of this podcast sort of format. And I'll be talking not only about the records that I've been picking up recently, I will be highlighting the best of the best of my WordPress blog posts and showing off all the great music that's out there. Links to everything, as always, down in the description. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. So until then, peace out!